Hey Aries, it's Dana with Deep Thoughts with Dana. And we're going to do something a little different, something a little cool. This is just a real quick little bonus thing, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to shuffle these cards and I'm going to um, tell you what is going on in your life. It's either about to happen, is happening, or has already happened for you. So Aries, we're going to use this whole deck, one card right after the other, and we are going to tell a story about what is going on with you. So, spirit, source, universal energy. I have the collective of Aries with me today, and we want to know what is, uh, what's coming down the road for Aries, what's going on with Aries, what's coming down the road for Aries, and uh, any messages that Aries needs to know. Spirit, if you can please arrange yourself in the way that you need to be seen in these cards to bring Aries Queen of Pentacles, to bring Aries the very best messages that we possibly can. Spirit, please use me as a clean and clear vessel by which to not only, Eight of Swords, not only interpret your messages, Spirit, but to explain them to Aries in a way that Aries can apply to their lives. Spirit, I'm going to shuffle two Prince of Pentacles. I'm going to shuffle two more times. I'm going to cut three times, and I'm going to pull... <laughs> I'm going to pull off the top and I'm going to tell a story. Please arrange yourself. I was going to say I'm going to pull 15 cards off the top. Please arrange yourself in the way you need to be seen to bring Aries the story of their life. This is um, my brand new deck right there. Okay. Okay. All right, Aries, what's going on? Oh, yeah, deepthoughtswithdana.com if you'd like a personal reading for me. This is general. It may apply to you. It may not apply to you. Take what fits, leave what doesn't, and walk away. All right, Aries, Empress is on your mind. Victory, progress, and success with the Empress is on your mind. Victory, progress, success with the Empress in a love relationship to the Prince of Cups, this is somebody that is in touch with their feelings, right? Princes or Knights are action cards. This is an action cards in the realm of emotion. This person is taking action on their emotion. Okay. All right. So the Empress, this is the card of Taurus and also Libra. You want some victory, progress, and success in a love relationship with this Empress, and you are ready to give your cup of love. Four of Pentacles comes in and talks about talks about not quite just yet. You're gonna have to sit on it for a minute. King of Swords says there's some kind of decision that needs to be made to the Four of Swords about about working out about working out some issues at home. To the Queen of Wands and the Prince of Wands, working out some issues at home before you can be successful in taking ex inspired action with the Prince of Wands. Before you can be successful in taking some inspired action, you first have to bring something to a culmination, a conclusion, a close. You're going to have to make a regretful but necessary transition out of some kind of commitment before you can bring a message of creation to the Empress. The Alchemist says that you are manifesting. What you're manifesting is the Princess of Wands. You're manifesting... Um, exploration and discovery right you're trying to you're exploring your options and trying to discover a way to get yourself out of the situation that you're in to make this regretful but necessary transition out of commitment before you can bring a cup a, a message of creation to the empress seven of pentacles says that you're thinking you're reflecting and you are assessing about how to get out of a Queen of Pentacles relationship, how to get out of a relationship with the Queen of Pentacles. The World card comes in and says that you want to end this cycle so you can have the Ten of Cups. 
Um, Five of Pentacles says you're going to leave somebody out in the cold. The Ace of Pentacles to create a new beginning elsewhere. Three of Cups says that you want to reunite with this Empress. There is a tower moment, absolute epiphany, revelation, awakening. It could even be upheaval and chaos in your life, Aries. About, hold on. Yeah, about breaking free of the mental challenges that have kept you from moving towards this empress thus far. Sorry. The Prince of Swords says this, this, this tower moment is the catalyst that spurs you to take action. Take action, inspired action, to create a passionate new beginning to the Ace of Swords because now you have absolute mental clarity about the Ten of Swords, about, about ending what you're doing now in order to resurrect something from the dead and reunite with the Empress. The Sun card comes and says that it will bring you... Um, Success, positivity, and vitality in your life. The Five of Swords comes in and says that there's there's conflict to the Queen of Cups in your fields. There's conflict in your fields to the Eight of Swords. Conflict in your fields and you're trying to sort yourself out because you need to make a judgment. Um, you need to, uh, this card is about a rebirth. You need to make a judgment call about your future with the Two of Wands. Three of Swords comes in and says that um, there's been heartbreak, pain, sorrow, and grief, and you're feeling a bit defensive and a little bit hesitant. To the Moon card, there is confusion, fear, and anxiety, right? But you need to be strong with the Strength card. You are strong. It's not going to be easy, but you are formulating a decision-making process with the Princess of Swords about how to move forward and manifest hope, faith, purpose, and renewal in your relationship with with that Empress. The Three of Wands comes in and talks about having foresight, preparing to expand, preparing to expand. To the Seven of Wands, no more diversionary tactics. To the Seven of Cups about how you feel, about how you feel about this devil energy, this devil energy. Um, hold on. Hold on. Hope, faith, purpose, and renewal. Preparing to expand. No more diversionary tactics about how you feel. No more being challenged in your feelings. Oh, this you are releasing your limiting beliefs. You, Aries, as the King of Wands. I know people say this is the card of Leo. This is an Aries reading. This is for Aries, right? So the King of Wands, you, Aries, want teamwork and collaboration with the Three of Pentacles. You want an accomplishment to the burden and the struggle that has been those cards that I just talked about. To temperance, balance, patience, purpose, moderation, self-healing, Balance, patience, purpose, moderation. Yeah, you've sat on this for way too long. You've sat on it for way too long. And now you're in the Nine of Swords. Nines are about fruition, attainment, conclusion, completion, and fulfillment. Even though it may be rather painful to be in an energy of intense anxiety and despair. Right? Up at night. Tormented. It's a painful place to be, but it's where we get shit done in the Nine of Swords. Everybody talks bad about the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords is not a bad place to be. If you stay there too long, it'll ruin your life. But the Nine of Swords is not a bad place to be because it's where we get things done. It's where we decide how we are going to conclude the situation, how we're going to complete and fulfill. What are we going to do? Because human nature says that we will not be uncomfortable for very long before we take action. What's the action you want to take? The Two of Cups. You want a Two of Cups relationship and you want a turning point in the lives of you and this Empress. Hangman says that you have paused, surrenders, thought about it, come out on the other side with a new perspective. And Chariot says you're going to take some 
some action. There you are, Aries, as the emperor. You are going to in ensure the authority that you have in your life, the, the establishment and the structure of your life. High Priestess says that this is a, a well-thought-out, well-thought-out decision um, in your gut, in your gut. And you are also about to release your secret. Your secret is that you want reuniting and reconciling with the Empress. Five of Wands comes in and says that you are turning with the Queen of Swords. You are taking all of the conflict from the past and you're turning it into an increased focus on goals. Queen of Swords that says that you're going to make a decision despite your fears of wishful thinking, right? To the Ten of Pentacles, you want establishment, structure, foundation with this person. To the Five of Cups, Five of Cups talks to us about loss, regret, disappointment, and despair. It's also about moving on from loss, regret, disappointment, and despair, accepting and forgiving. To the Six of Cups, because you want to reunite and reconcile your differences with someone from your past. Someone that could very well be a Taurus, seeing as how we have the King of Pentacles here and the Empress at the bottom of the deck. If not, it's definitely about um, reestablishing security, control, power, and abundance in the relationship. It's long-term goals, ambitious long-term goals. To the Fool card, to take a new beginning and a new journey in your life. To the Two of Pentacles, balance and prioritization. Because you've dealt with repressed emotions and you're going to end this cycle and create a new cycle. To the Justice card, this Justice card is about truth being spoken, fairness, cause and effect. Cause and effect being doing, you've done some soul searching and some introspection, and you've decided how it is that you are going to take action to, of, to, with the Eight of Wands, right? How it is you're going to take action. Eight of Cups talks about, sorry, Eight of Cups talks to us about um, disappointment. I think you're, I think you're disappointed that it's taken this long. To the Four of Swords, contemplating death, how you're going to transition this relationship, how you're going to transform this relationship with the Empress, reuniting and reconciling into wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. There you are thinking about it all again, thinking about how it is that you are going to come together with this person and share on a daily basis overwhelming emotion, how it is you're going to restart love in this relationship, and how it is you are going to move into your future with reuniting and reconciling your differences with an empress. Boom. There you go, Aries. If you would like a personal reading with me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com. Namaste.